Writing in upper elementary seems to be so formal these days, but in this video, I have some fun ways to get your kids writing creatively through poetry, which you can easily incorporate through your lessons all year long. If you're new here, I'm Rachel Vincent, and I love sharing ways to help teachers simplify their classrooms and their teaching. One of the first things I do when we are talking about poetry is I just like to expose them to how poetry is different than the writing that they are typically used to doing. So we spend some time just exploring poetry, where we talk about how poetry does not follow the typical rules of regular writing. I like to take different poetry books and read different poems to my students. I will often incorporate it into our daily read alouds, different poems, so that they're just exposed to quality poems so that when they go to write their own, that they have a mentor text to use. So some of my favorite anthologies that I like to do, of course, is um, anything by Jack Prelutsky. He has really funny poems that kids love. Uh, they're silly, and so that really sort of breaks that mold of what poem, what kids think poetry must be. That really gets them engaging. This, I have lost the cover along some way. This is the Kids Pick the Funniest Poem, and it has all different authors, but these are some of my kids' favorite once they realize that they need to not judge a book by its cover. Of course, one of my favorite read-alouds during usually April, we tend to do this, is Love That Dog, where where the um, narrator is learning how to write poem poetry for the first time. They tend to relate a lot to this as we are writing our own poems. I love finding nature poems, a lot of the poems we write are about the seasons and different holidays, so this is another great one to help them. And then Scholastic has really great books that come out that are short. I have several of these from Scholastic book orders that are just, like this one is just celebrating outdoor play. They'll have a, a whole little book on a theme of different poems. There are so many different types of poems that you can teach your students, but I tend to stick to the same five all year long because once I've taught it, then they know how to do it and now it has become an independent task, but also because it incorporates grammar and then I can use that throughout the different holidays and seasons. Of course, the easiest one that most kids are used to are acrostic poems. I still think they're great. I know one thing I like to do for my fourth graders is to try to stretch them a little instead of just coming up with one word of start to use phrases in their acrostic poems. I love using Ace and Queen. This is where we really start to get into that grammar aspect where they are trying to find adjectives and verbs and different things that go with the topic they're writing about. I also love a good Diamante poem that incorporates students having to either come up with a with multiple ways to describe something synonyms and antonyms of changing their diamante because you can do a synonym diamante or an antonym diamante and so it's really just so great to see what kids come up with. We did this back in the winter when we were talking about winter solstice and how we can change that towards summer. Some of them did Christmas to New Year. It was just really great to see their creativity shine through that. And then of course, one of my favorite types of poem to personally write is a haiku. And so I love sharing that with students. I love helping them figure out how to change and play words to make the syllables fit so that they can describe what they're talking about. It's just overall a great way to help students get creative with their writing. So like I said, I like to take the same five styles of poetry and incorporate them throughout the year. We typically will start with acrostics because kids are more familiar with it. Then we move on to a cinquain and then diamantes. We also write similes and haikus. And so I have the same template that they use for each type. And then I have different publishing pages to make our poetry fit the season or holiday. I typically do seasons just because it's, I can keep it up in the classroom longer, if I'm being honest. But sometimes, like, I, the kids love to do Mother's Day poetry. They often like to do Valentine's Day poetry. So it works out well. I love using these during when we finish a writing unit and we're, and there's, just a few odd days before. Don't want to start like a new unit like on a Friday or a Thursday or before a break. And so I'll often incorporate these poems into our into our writing instruction for those days. They're great for an independent poetry center 
or rotation, independent activities, because once you teach it, they can replicate it over and over again. So there you have some easy ways to teach your students how to write poetry. I have all of the season and holiday poetry writing templates in my TPT store. I will put a link down in the description for you to check those out. And if you're interested to see how I plan other writing in my classroom, check out the video that's on your screen now where I am sharing how I planned our research writing unit.